Welcome to building the BOSS documentation for the pulley belt system. The first book that I'm showing right now is has all the information about the BOSS system. The second book is the technical information. I started off with purchasing a BOSS magneto or a book for Ford cars. I did purchase the actual pulley belts. And as you can see, they look as if they are correct and ready to run, but they are not. They have not been machined. I was able to find out how to have my magneto set up for clockwise and counterclockwise by changing the points. I was also able to find an individual that was in the U.S. that had owned a chain-driven setup, but had bought that setup as is and was was not knowledgeable on how it worked. I did find a person in Scotland that actually had a chain driven setup on his Model T. I was able to get correspondence with him on the sprocket size. The top picture shows how my magneto came and, and the actual gear that was on it, which eventually was actually shaved, cut off by me and welded uh, for the small sprocket. Below shows me building the actual uh, bracket from a box that I had found in a salvage yard. And below is the template that I had actually built. Here's another example of, of uh, the bracket and how it fits. I was able to drive the car around with this bracket that I in this picture it shows the measurements of the camshaft and the, you need to measure the diameter of the of the shaft and this picture shows the template of what the sprocket size was and seeing if it, how it would fit without any obstruction in this picture shows the magneto sitting on the bracket in this picture it shows the actual original bracket that was built by Bosch. Now on the technical side, on the technical side, as I actually did the work, I would highlight it in yellow. And you can see the actual process. In this picture, it shows the wiring diagram and the sprockets that had been machined. In this picture, it shows exactly <coughs> the details behind the actual sprockets that has been, had been welded, as well as the actual machining uh, work that's behind that sprocket. In this picture, it actually shows the wiring diagram. This picture shows the actual information on the purchase of the sprocket. There's another picture of the other sprocket, which has the smaller one and the camshaft size. This picture is the actual belt. That's Just a little bit more detail of the actual camshaft as well as more detail what the size of the bore is and the horsepower ratings for the sprockets. And that's all.